What's up everybody, Mike Salemi here, and today we're gonna to talk about a classic kettlebell movement, the squat variation, the goblet squat specifically, and I'm gonna teach you and, and work with you on how to add greater levels of integration into your training so you can hopefully improve not only your athleticism, but your durability in your fitness routine and or if you're a competitive athlete. So let's go right into it. All right, so to begin, what I wanna do is demonstrate the goblet squat, and then you're gonna see how we're gonna add levels of complexity based off of single bell, double bell, stance, integrating the upper body. Let's get into it. So the classic squat, you're basically utilizing a shoulder width stance, toes either straight or slightly angled out. From here, you'll set your hips back, grab the kettlebell, set the shoulders, and then you'll clean the kettlebell up into the goblet grip position. From here, you'll lower down under control with an upright torso. Now the depth's gonna be up to you, especially on this version. This is more of a beginner version of the squat, but I want you to really just work on keeping your torso upright, and as you're squatting down, allowing the knees to migrate forward. If your knees aren't able to migrate forward and you do more of a hinge squat, you're gonna dump the kettlebell. So that's also one uniqueness in terms of some of the differences training with a kettlebell with some other tools. But now let's add a little bit more integration. So as opposed to doing the goblet grip, now we're gonna do a rack grip, and what we're gonna focus on is integrating the upper body. So we're gonna basically do a thruster, which is a squat into an overhead push press. So take a look. Now, when you're performing that movement, essentially you wanna think it's the legs that drive the movement. So you still descend down, just like you did in that goblet squat, but then as you approach the, the top end of the lift right here, so maybe like the top third or the th top quarter, that's when you accelerate, and that acceleration drives the kettlebell up over the head into the lockout. The arms only come in in the very last moment, so it's not, I don't want you to think about this movement like a squat, stop, strict press, no. I want you to go down, control it up, then right here, bam, turn it on and finish it. Now, if we wanna add another layer of complexity, we're gonna work more balance and coordination. So same movement, the overhead squat into a push press or a thruster, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna offset the stance, okay? So what we're gonna focus on, we'll keep the load in the right. From here, now I'm gonna bring back my right leg, elevate the heel. As you're lowering down, allow your left knee to glide as far forward as you can while keeping the left heel down to come up, same technique, bring it down under control, chest up, chest up. One of the beautiful components of this movement is you're gonna get to exercise more mobility, more range of motion around the ankles. Now, of course, if you're really limited there, you just descend down as much as you can control. You don't gotta go to the bottom, but this is really what I'm looking for, allowing the knee to migrate forward, keeping the heel down and the torso up. So now for the last progression that I wanna take you through, we're gonna focus on that staggered stance, squat into the overhead press, but now we're, or the overhead push press, but now we're gonna go ahead and do two bells. Clean the bell up, stagger that stance. And there you go, those are some very integrated progressions off of the classic goblet squat that you can utilize to increase your durability, your resilience, your athleticism, and your training. I hope you enjoy that. Please try each variation, lay it down for about eight reps each. You find the level of progression that feels good for you. And please let me know which one you enjoyed the most. Comment below, which one did you find most challenging? Where was your threshold? I'd love to hear about it and create more videos just like this one for you. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Make it, make it, make it.